Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a deck review. Hey, today we're going to look at the NYX playing cards from collectible playing cards. All right, so what is NYX? Uh, NYX spelled N-Y-X, okay, N-Y-X. Uh, this was a Kickstarter release uh, that collectible playing cards did, and it was successfully funded, and this is the deck. Uh, so yeah, NYX is one of the goddesses of Greek mythology. She is a shadowy figure. Uh, Nyx stood at or near, very near, the beginning of creation. She mothered all of these smaller deities. Uh, she uh, was the mother of sleep. She's the mother of Thanatos, who is death. She's the mother of darkness. And her appearances are really sparse, actually, over mythology, but she is still a haunting figure nonetheless. She has exceptional power, she has exceptional beauty, and legend has it that even Zeus, the father of all gods, is afraid of her. The front of the tuck case is a bicycle branded tuck, has a very haunting uh, spade pip, uh, picture there in the center uh, with a face and holding some sort of glowing orb. It says Nyx playing cards at the bottom. Uh, one side says the United States Playing Card Company, the other side says Air Cushion Finish. The bottom has some ad copy about collectible playing cards and the back design is of course the back design of the cards. It has a custom tuck seal, which is pretty indicative of CPC. And then it just has a nondescript uh, top. That is pretty much it for the tuck case. Let's take a look at these cards. These cards come printed from the United States Playing Card Company and they come on a B Casino stock. They do have a modern cut and air cushion emboss. And if you'd like to learn more about stock, cut, or finish, you can click the link below in the description. Of course, this is a bicycle branded deck. It's gonna feel, handle, work like any other bicycle branded deck uh, that you're familiar with, especially a deck of casino grade stock, uh, which is their thicker stock, um, similar on par to the B stock. Has moderate edges, moderate sides. It's a Q1 quality, good deck from bicycle. The back design has a thin uh, border and it has a little broken edge on the left and the right, very uh, beautiful. And then a lot of just inward art there uh, with these exploding wings uh, in the center, uh, these two uh, mirrored diamonds, these two mirrored triangles that are facing each other and they're floating on kind of like these mandala flowers. I don't know, you know what? The back design on the cards and the tuck case, I, I wasn't a fan. I like the art, I love the art. I didn't love the color blue that they picked, especially uh, doing this juxtaposition of blue and black. I feel like they didn't look at their proofs very well, and then the ink came out really dark. Uh, these cards look great in sunlight and really bright light, but in like a regular fluorescent lit room or just like regular, you know, looking at it, looking at it in your house, uh, the design work is really hard to see. And so I was kind of disappointed uh, with the art on these. With this deck, you're gonna get two extra cards. You're gonna get a collectible playing cards add card, and you're gonna get a double backer, which is great for magic. With this deck, you're gonna get two original jokers. They depict Nynx herself, uh, one in a red dress and one in a blue, and she is holding some sort of a crescent moon above her hand. The pips and indie cards are all completely redesigned. Uh, the pips themselves are much larger than maybe a standard deck, and I think the red is a little bit more of an off color. They all have a very rigid, very abstract design. I think it pierces through the white backdrop and makes uh, the design really pop. The court cards in this deck are also completely modernized. Uh, you still have courts, right? You still have royalty, but they've been dressed up. They've been all uh, revamped to be in like this old metallic dark armor. Uh, they are also featured in blood red and night blue, and I think they look like they're ready for battle. All right, so that is my review of the NYX playing cards from Collectible Playing Cards. As always, we ask that you like this video just so other people can find it faster. We also recommend that you subscribe to this channel just so that you can stay up to date on the latest in cards and card magic. If you want to follow me on social media, you can. I'm at facebook.com slash magicorthodoxy, twitter.com slash magicorthodoxy, instagram.com slash magic underscore orthodoxy. And if you ever need more content, you can always find it at magicorthodoxy.com. Thanks. Bye.